After years of anticipation and a sprinkling of controversy leading up to launch, the PlayStation 5 console exclusive for Spoken is finally here. But is this fantastical adventure worth your time and money? Let's discuss this flashy open world RPG. How's it going everyone? Miles Dompierre here. So I've spent the last week exploring the expansive land of Athia in Square Enix's latest offering for Spoken on PlayStation 5. Despite the criticisms and concerns surrounding performance and visuals ahead of its release, I remained incredibly interested in the overall promise of this ambitious project from Luminous Productions. The pitch of an open-world action RPG with over-the-top real-time magic and supernatural parkour mobility, admittedly, was right up my alley. However, following conflicting opinions of the pre-launch gameplay demo, my excitement quickly shifted to cautious optimism. After spending roughly 25 hours with the experience, I have plenty of thoughts on this distinctive take on an open world RPG. But before I share my thoughts, I want to hear from you. How are you feeling about the conversation surrounding Forspoken ahead of its release? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you're digging my videos and want to show your support, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Now, let's discuss whether or not you should play Forspoken. While Forspoken suffers the same extremely slow start as many other open world RPGs, it effectively introduces an array of gameplay systems I thoroughly enjoyed. The fast-paced, action-driven combat consistently delivers symphonies of beautiful chaos. Frequently, the screen is littered with dozens of enemies, swarms of particle effects, and explosions of light and magic. Initially, this sensory overload is completely overwhelming. But the more time I spent with the game, the more I appreciated its commitment to unapologetically stylish combat. Forspoken supplies one of the most satisfying mage power fantasies in recent memory. Your arsenal of extravagant spells encourages experimentation and provides the freedom to find the abilities that best suit your playstyle. For me, I absolutely loved punching everything to death with flaming fists or using my dispersed turret to take down obnoxious flying enemies like these damned vultures. As you progress deeper in Forspoken, you'll unlock new magic spells and equipment upgrades that further amplify your waves of destruction. Compared to meteor RPGs like Elden Ring, the gear system is fairly simplistic, but it still enables meaningful customization that impacts how you approach battles. Another element of Forspoken I genuinely dug was the magic parkour. It's not always the most consistent means of evading enemies or traversing the open world, but when it works as intended, it's amazing. Vaulting, flipping, and soaring through the sky during boss fights or enemy encounters always looked and felt cool as hell. Despite feeling like a floatier Dark Souls at times, the combination of the parkour and magic systems in Forspoken are ambitious and completely worth celebrating. Forspoken is a feast for the senses and something fans of action RPGs will definitely get a kick out of. While I generally admire the lavish approach to gameplay in Forspoken and had fun with my time in Athia, there are some glaring problems that damage the overall product. Let's start with the elephant in the room. If you were annoyed by the dialogue featured in trailers and gameplay demos leading up to launch, you'll probably be irritated by many conversations in Forspoken. Whoa! What the hell is that? He appears to be a person under that getup. No shit, Sherlock. You need to know who he is. Okay, Mr. Axe Murderer. I'm gonna come towards you and take off your mask. You're gonna be cool or uncool. There are moments where key narrative beats land emotionally, and I mostly thought the overarching story was good enough to keep things moving along, but it plays out very much like a young adult fantasy novel. Frey's vocal deliveries are commendable, and Ella Belinsky clearly had a good time with the character, but I know it will be a problem for some players. My biggest complaint with Forspoken, though, lies in its pacing. There are constantly segments where you're pulled from the action for massive exposition dumps, and these aren't just cutscenes either. There are several instances where you must read every book in a room before being able to progress in the story. It's frustrating and totally tanks the momentum of the game. One other criticism worth noting is that performance on PS5 isn't always the most consistent. There are noticeable frame dips during intensive sequences, 
and for technically savvy players, that might be distracting. When Forspoken embraces its infectious combat and outstanding parkour, it delivers an RPG unlike anything else. The slower start and demanding magic system will potentially turn off some players, but if you're willing to invest the time, there are treasures worth discovering in this open world RPG. Forspoken probably won't land as a critical darling. However, there will be an audience of players who commend its fascinating approach to energetic gameplay. What are your thoughts on Forspoken? Will you be giving this action RPG a try? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for everything you do. Keep that passion burning, and I'll catch you in the next video.